Welcome to this new video. This video is about month over month variance and the and its percentage in Power BI. Month over month variance is supposed to compare the current revenue with the previous month's revenue or current sales with the previous month's sales and the percentage of difference between them. So here you are having a sample report with respect to the month over month. So this is the current month and this bar represents the current month and this bar represents the previous month. So like that, it can be compared. So you need to get the current month. That obviously you will get it through total sales or total revenue, just some of the revenue or sales column. You get the previous month, you need to use the parallel period and you can get the previous month by providing minus one as the interval. Now, the next thing to need is the difference between the revenue and the last month's revenue. That means the current month's sales and the last month's sales. That is the month over month variance. And to get that, you can use the total sales minus last month's sales. Of course, you have or if you have already calculated the last month's sales during using parallel period. Now to get the percentage of this month over month variance, you need to get the sales of month over month variance. So sales of month over month variance is the variance what we have got total sales minus last month sales. And this sales of month over month variance should be divided by last month sales. You can get the last month sales by using the parallel period. So this is what has just been shown here. And we will try to use these formulas and get the month over month. So so we are having a data set, so we are having a calendar table, we are having the sales table, other tables of course we are not going to bother about for this example. In this example we are going to bother about this revenue and this order date. So we will get a total measure for getting the total revenue. So total revenue equals to sum of revenue. So now we got the total revenue, we will select a table visual and we will select the date in that we will get the year and the month and we will place the total revenue inside that now the total revenue got filtered with respect to the month and the date and the year now we need to get the last month's revenue if we go getting the last month's revenue we will create a measure for it last month revenue equals to you can use calculate function calculate total revenue and we will be using parallel period parallel period and we can use the date and the number of intervals will be minus one because just the previous month we are not going to get it and we are going to get it of course the month itself. so now with this formula we are getting the last month's revenue and we'll be adding the last month's revenue with the table so here if you see you can understand okay this is the revenue for february month and this is the revenue for january month and you can see the last month's revenue under february it is january's revenue same for under march it is february's revenue so with respect to this you can understand it now we need to get the difference between this revenue and this revenue so we will do that that is called the month of month variance month over month variance so we will write it as my mom sales mom variance equals total revenue minus last month's revenue so we can select that also inside the table so because the difference between it since the january is the first month and we don't have any last month for january obviously the difference is the january month itself so that it's full of profit in that january month itself otherwise you have you can see lots of negative values in that that means the previous month's revenue is greater than the current month's revenue now the next step is will be to get the percentage of this mom variance to get the percentage you need to get the revenue mom variance divided by last month's revenue so we will create a measure for that mom variance percentage equals you can use the divide dax function divide revenue mom variance with last month sales we need to give the percentage okay we will so first we will select it under the table and then we will give the percentage so we haven't given the percentage so we will select that mom variance and we will select the percentage here so that the table will be changed according to the percentage so the most of the times the variance is getting negative that is because the previous amount previous month's revenue is greater than the current month that means the target has not been achieved that's why lots of negatives are coming so the company needs to take care of it so this is one chart you can show with respect to the mom variance and mom variance per variance percentage so hope this will be helpful for you have a nice day